Imagine this, somewhere beyond Google's reach. A hidden network operates day and night, a place where privacy rules, anonymity thrives, and danger hides behind every click. This is the dark web. But what's new is how artificial intelligence has started reshaping this underground world. What used to be run by hackers and coders is now being powered by smart algorithms programs that learn, adapt, and act almost like humans. To understand how AI found its way into the dark web, we first need to understand the Internet's hidden layers. The ClearNet is what we all use every day, YouTube, Google, Twitter, Amazon, everything visible and indexed by search engines. Beneath that lies the deep web private databases, password-protected portals, and cloud systems that aren't public but still legitimate. Then, far below, sits the dark web, the hidden part of the Internet accessible only through special browsers like Tor. Originally, the dark web wasn't designed for criminals. It was built by researchers and activists who wanted a safe way to communicate under oppressive governments or share sensitive information without being tracked. Journalists used it to protect their sources. Whistleblowers used it to leak truth safely. Privacy advocates called it a digital sanctuary. But like any technology meant for good, the dark web quickly attracted the wrong kind of attention. Hackers realized they could use the same anonymity tools to hide illegal activity, selling stolen data, drugs, fake passports, even hacking services. Soon, underground marketplaces began to appear, hidden e-commerce hubs running on cryptocurrency and encrypted communication. Artificial intelligence started transforming the dark web in the same way it's transforming the surface internet, only faster and much more dangerously. At first, AI appeared on dark web forums as a topic of discussion, how it could be used to bypass security systems, generate deepfakes, or automate phishing attacks. But within months, it became a tool, one that cyber criminals began integrating directly into their workflows. A hacker doesn't need to spend days writing malicious code anymore. Instead, they can use an AI model to generate it instantly. A scammer doesn't T have to speak perfect English. I, I can write the entire fake email in a native tone. Even fake identities can now be created with AI-generated photos and synthetic personal data, making detection almost impossible. The dark web's core advantage has always been anonymity. But now, with an eye in the mix, it's gaining efficiency and scale, two things that make it far more powerful. A isn't just helping cyber criminals hide. It's helping them automate their crimes. And the most concerning part? AI doesn't have morals. It doesn't know right from wrong. It only does what it's trained to do, and on the dark web, that training can get very dark. Some underground developers have already built custom. AI models train specifically for illegal use, like generating ransomware code, cracking passwords, or scraping personal data from breached databases. These models are shared privately through encrypted channels or sold on invite-only forums. The more advanced these models become, the harder it gets for cybersecurity teams to catch them. It's like fighting a shadow with another shadow, invisible enemies using invisible tools. But not everything about AI's role in the dark web is purely negative. Some cybersecurity experts are using AI themselves, scanning onion sites, detecting threat patterns, and predicting where attacks might happen before they do. So it's not a one-sided battle. It's AI versus AI defense versus offense, a silent war happening far below the surface web we use every day. In the next part, we'll go deeper into this underground world, exploring how malicious AI tools work, what's being sold in these secret markets, and how fast this cyber arms race is accelerating. When most people hear the term AI, they think of smart chatbots, self-driving cars, or helpful personal assistants. But in the dark corners of the internet, AI has taken on a completely different identity, one that's silent, efficient, and incredibly dangerous. Over the past two years, hundreds of underground developers have begun creating what experts now call malicious AI tools. These are not your everyday coding assistants. They retrain to do things no ethical company would ever allow. Things like writing phishing emails that perfectly mimic real brands, or generating malware that can evolve on its own to avoid detection. Some of these tools even have names that sound innocent on purpose, like FraudGPT, WormGPT, or DarkBRT. 
They're built on stolen versions of mainstream AI models, retrained with data scraped from hacking forums, stolen code repositories, and leaked databases. And once these models are unleashed, they don't need human guidance for long. They can run 24 hours a day, generating new attack scripts or scam messages faster than any human criminal could type. Inside dark web forums, sellers promote them just like ordinary software, screenshots, version updates, feature lists, even customer support. They advertise their products with phrases like no coding skills required or instant phishing campaign builder. To a buyer, it feels like buying a productivity app. But in reality, it's a digital weapon. Let's break down what these tools can actually do. First, AI phishing engines. These are models that automatically scan the internet for trending brands, copy their email templates, and send perfectly written fake messages to thousands of inboxes. No spelling errors, no broken links, nothing suspicious. The victim reads it, clicks once, and their data is gone. Second, AI malware generators. These use natural language commands like create ransomware that encrypts photos but leaves system files untouched. The model writes the code, packages it, and can even include a ransom note. Criminals who used to need advanced coding skills now just need a prompt. Third, deep fake generators. These AI systems can mimic real voices and faces, sometimes in real-time video calls. Imagine a scammer calling your bank using a perfect copy of your voice. Or your bosses, it sounds like science fiction, but it's already happening. And the final category, Data Analysis A is trained to sift through massive stolen databases. They can group credit card numbers by region, match passwords with usernames, and even flag which identities are most valuable for fraud. It's like having a personal assistant for crime. Now, all of this has created a new kind of economy on the dark web, the AI black market. Here, Hackers, scammers, and fraudsters trade AI models the way gamers trade digital skins or coders trade APIS. There are rankings, reviews, and even reputation systems to prove who's trustworthy in a world of criminals. Payments? Always in cryptocurrency, usually Monero or Bitcoin, to stay untraceable. And these transactions are often layered through tumblers and privacy wallets so that tracing a payment chain is almost impossible. One of the strangest things about these markets is how organized they are. They don't look like chaos. They look like professional software stores, clean layouts, feature demos, even membership levels. Some forums require invitations or proof of past work before you can even register. And then there's the collaboration side. Criminal groups from completely different countries are now sharing AI models, training data, and exploits in real time. Money erases borders. A hacker in Europe can partner with someone in Asia to attack a company in the United States, and AI becomes their translator, their planner, and their coder. Cybersecurity agencies call this industrialized cybercrime. It is not just a few lone hackers in basements anymore. It is a full-scale economy powered by AI. Meanwhile, law enforcement struggles to keep up. Every time a dark web marketplace is taken down, two more appear with stronger encryption and new A-driven verification systems. They even use AI bots to screen buyers and detect undercover agents by analyzing their language patterns. And the scariest part, most of this doesn't make headlines. While everyone's talking about AI art or chatbots, an invisible revolution is happening in the shadows one where the same technology that writes your essays or edits your videos is being used to steal millions of dollars leak private data and attack entire companies. The line between creativity and crime has never been thinner. And if you think this sounds extreme, wait until you see what's next. The future of AI-powered cybercrime, how experts are fighting back, and what you, the ordinary internet user, can do to protect yourself before the next wave hits. The scary truth is this, we're still at the very beginning. The dark web is evolving faster than anyone expected. And artificial intelligence has become its most powerful weapon. In the near future, AI will no longer just assist criminals. It will start automating entire crimes. Imagine a botnet, thousands of infected computers around the world, all controlled by an AI that learns from every failed attack, improves its strategy, and adapts in real time. No human coder, no rest, no mercy. That's not science fiction anymore.
cybersecurity experts already report small-scale versions of these systems, built to test networks, steal data, or hijack accounts automatically. And every year they're getting smarter. But the real shift isn't just technical, it's psychological. In the past, you could spot scams easily. Bad grammar, weird links, fake names. Now AI writes flawless messages. It imitates your tone, your friends, even your employer. It doesn't look like danger anymore. It sounds trustworthy. That's the future we're walking into. A world where you can't trust what you see, hear, or read online. Even video evidence can't be trusted now. With deepfake A is becoming more realistic by the day, entire political scandals or financial frauds could be built on fake footage. A face, a voice, a signature, all of it can be forged. And when you combine that with the dark web's anonymity, you get the perfect storm, crimes with no faces, no fingerprints, and no clear trace. So what's being done about it? Governments and cybersecurity firms are racing to respond. They're developing defensive AIs, algorithms designed to detect deepfakes, flag fake emails, and monitor dark web activity 24 7 Think of it as AI versus AI. Some major tech companies are even creating ethical AIs that can track illegal models by identifying stolen code or dataset fingerprints. But here's the problem. Every time they shut one system down, a new one pops up under a different name. The dark web doesn't sleep. That's why awareness is your first line of defense. Because you can't fight what you don't understand. If you're watching this video, you've already taken the first step, learning how the dark web really works. But knowledge alone isn't enough. You need protection habits. Here's what experts recommend. Use strong, unique passwords for every account and a password manager to keep track. Enable two-factor authentication everywhere you can. Never click on links from unknown senders, even if they look professional. Check your credit reports and bank statements regularly. And most importantly, stay skeptical even of things that look 100% real. Because in the new age of AI-powered deception, your best defense is doubt. The internet is evolving into something bigger, faster, and darker than we ever imagined. But that doesn't mean it's unstoppable. It just means we have to evolve too. If this video opened your eyes to what's really happening behind the screens, hit like and subscribe, not just for more dark web stories, but for the truth that hides beneath them. Drop a comment below. What shocked you most about the AI underworld? This is Cognify. Stay curious, stay aware, and I'll see you next time.